Robert Wadlow minus 2 meters 72 centimeters. The Giant of Illinois, Wadlow is the tallest confirmed person to have ever lived. Born in Alton, Illinois in 1918, he suffered from hypertrophy of the pituitary gland, causing him to produce massive amounts of human growth hormone. This condition led to Wadlow's height constantly increasing throughout his life. By the time he was 8, he was already 6 feet 2 in and weighed 77 kg. John William Bud Rogan is the second tallest human being in recorded history, and the tallest of African descent. Born in Tennessee in 1868, Rogan suffered a sudden growth spurt at the age of 13 and gained height rapidly. Rogan's extreme size led to him suffering from severe ankylosis, a condition that leaves the joints stiff due to inflammation. Born in 1932 in Buffalo, New York, John Carroll was referred to as the Buffalo Giant in medical journals. When he was 16, Carroll's incredible growth spurt kicked in, and it didn't stop until his eventual death in 1969. At one point, he reportedly grew 7 inches in a matter of months. Carroll was afflicted with acromegalic gigantism and suffered a lot during his short life especially when it came to his spine. He had a bad case of two-dimensional spinal curvature, also known as kyphoscoliosis. Bernard de Coyne was born in Anthon, Iowa on July 27, 1897. He suffered from unicoidal infantile gigantism, which is an extremely rare condition commonly referred to as daddy long legs syndrome. Coyne's exact height at the time of his death is still unconfirmed. According to his World War I registration card, he was already 8 ft tall in 1918, at which time he was just 21 years old.